They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Today's players from Ukraine playing for the Commonwealth of Independent States wearing the boiling blue. It's Anur, the Germanator, Marikisa. From the United States in the radioactive red, it's Marcia Hornet. And from Portugal in the paralyzing purple, it's Rita, the warrior, Almeida. Folks, the world championship. You gotta have a dream to go for it, talent to get near it, but most of all, you gotta have guts to win it. Hello everyone, I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here with a team of international presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. And before we kick off our world championship games, it is time to go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Mo! Hello, Mike. Here's a look at the standings. With a win today, Team USA can move within one gold medal of second place. How will they fare? Let's get underway and find out. All right, folks. Well, have you ever experienced the thrill of dodgeball while skydiving in Dodge It? You get the chance because we're going to have balls flying at your head from all different angles while you are plummeting towards the ground. That is right. Now, we have a game here called Dodge It, and no playground in the world has anything like what we got in the Extreme Arena. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo! Players will have 60 seconds to dodge balls thrown by the other two players. The player with the most hits on opposing players wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so our players getting a little bounce in their step as those balls come flying from the air. We're going to have to catch on to them and then hit the opposing players while they try to dodge the balls that the players are throwing at them. Now, in this event, our players can often get preoccupied with catching a ball and not see the balls that are being thrown at them from the other players. You need incredible body control, incredible toughness, and most of all, accuracy, okay? Because if you make accurate throws getting a shot off, it's just half the battle. You gotta make good throws to score points. So with 20 seconds left, we got mayhem out there as those dodgeballs come flying. There's a score, right with blue, but Marcy and Red caught it, threw it back. They're playing a little catch out there. Now each time they catch it, that does count as a point scored against them. However, it's a good strategy. If it's coming at you, better to catch it and throw it back and score a point and just let it deflect off your body. So as time runs out, we have an individual judge for each player who will tally up the scores and give them to Mo. And now we will go to Mo and get the official results. Mo! In first place was Arnold making five hits. In second place, Rita making four. In third place, Marcia making two. All right, folks, well, up first is Rita, the purple people eater. Boom, knocking it right off of blue for a little score. She got second place, and then pilots the bomb, but bomb it in. Try to see it in the clear. We got balls all over the place. This is just our first event. We got a lot more to go. Let's check out our leaderboard mode. First place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Arnold from the CIS. In second place with 200 points, Rita from Portugal. In third place with 100 points, Marcia from the USA. All right, and speaking of winners, whoa, hey, they're trying to dodge it out here. Speaking of winners, the player with the most points at the end of all of this event, they will go home with the piece of our glowing a rock. And this guy right here, he's got one of the main games in the Ukraine. Hey, Arnold, the Terminator, spill your guts. Hi, my name is Arnold, and I live in Kiev, Ukraine. I like basketball and table tennis, but swimming is my favorite sport. I think an athlete should be strong, determined, and healthy. Here at Global Guts, I like the nice weather, the pool, and the incredible games.
Well, people, guts have been spilt, but right now the extreme arena has been transformed into a cataclysmic world for our post-nuclear race, Mad Max. Our global guts athletes got a great challenge here in front of them. They're going to start on the ramp and come ripping down the ramp and then making a turn to jet through the junkyard. After the junkyard, they are then going to be jamming over those jumps right there and making another turn as they come to power pass pot hole pass. Making the final turn, they're going to have to kick up the speed to destroy that dead end and cross the finish line to end the race. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will race around the track, making sure to go through each obstacle. Time penalties are assessed for infractions. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so up first will be Arnold. And Arnold making the turn. He goes into this event in first place with 300 points. And you see him going over the jumps. Yeah, he jumps right over that. No problem. Keeping his balance. In this event, our players must think about speed as you see him go through pothole pass. Oh, he might have slipped off the track right there. Now remember, there are penalties if they slip over the track, and he's got to continue to drive over the finish line after he comes through the dead end. Let's go to Mo for the results. Mo. Arnold clocked in at 26.6 seconds. That includes a two-second penalty for going off the track. Marcia goes into this event with 100 points. She needs a good finish. Let's see what she can do. On your mark, get set. All right, well, her nickname is the Hornet. And we'll see if she can put a little sting in the competition as she flies through Mad Max. She's doing great work right now. And she needs to continue to buzz along, flop her wings, and make it all the way to dead end. That time above the clock, her 26.6, the time to beat. She lost a little balance there, but she's driving through. And she can continue. Oh, yeah. Right across. We'll go to Mo and get the official. Mo. Marcia clocked in at 22.8 seconds. And up next will be Rita from Portugal. On your mark, get set. Rita goes into this event in second place in the new time to beat 22.8 seconds. In this event, as you can see, incredible control is needed. As you see her going over, oh, she's got to drive right into the, the wall there. So unless she can really get started, she's waiting. Now the stunt coordinators must wait for approximately five seconds before they get in there and help her. And she makes the turn, the final turn, in through the dead end. She's gonna be nowhere near the Hornets time if that is official. We'll have to find out from Mo. Mo. Rita clocked in at 29.3 seconds, which puts Marcia in first place, Arnold in second place, and Rita in third place. Oh, we got a good one going today, and folks, we got a glowing rock. We don't just give away. You got to earn it with guts. Rita certainly had guts in Mad Max, but she did not have control, smacking right into the wall. But you want to go to control? <laughs> Look here at the Hornet. Control and power, these are the details that drive you to a crag date destiny. Destroying the dead end, coming in with 300 clams. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Arnold from the CIS is still in the lead with 500 points. In second place is Marcia from the USA with 400 points. In third place, Rita from Portugal with 300 points. All right, folks, we got to clean this place up because, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming back. We got two down, two to go. Invisible folks, we got peak to peak. You come back. A lot more good. Sure. Global Guts, we got a world title still up for grabs, but right now it is time to meet an all-American athlete who is going for the gold. Hey, Marcia, Hornet, spill your guts. Hi, I'm Marcia Cornet from Granite Falls, North Carolina, USA. My favorite sports are swimming, track, and softball. Best thing about being here at Global Guts is Santa gets kids from other countries. In my spare time, I like to hang out with my friends at the skating rink, cheerleading practice, and at the movies. Folks, it's time to get in the guts pool, but where we're going, we don't need any boats in a visible boat, because what we need is some harnesses, some paddles, three very tough kids, and we got them at Global Guts. Let's go to Mo for the rules, Mo. At the sound of my whistle, each player will paddle across the pool and back. They must touch the end of the pool to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. 
all the way from Ukraine, playing for the Commonwealth of Independent States, we have Anuj, the Terminator. And look at this man tear throw the pole. He's going to have to push back off so we can power his way back. They got to go to and from that end of the pool. Look at this man. He's getting in a rhythm. He's using his legs. He's using his arms. He's making the stretch. And he is in the lead. Let's go to Mo and get the results. Arnold clocked in at 21.6 seconds, Mike. All right, so Arnold in the lead with 500 points. And getting up next will beat Marcia the Hornet. We just talked to her at Spill Your Guts. We'll see what she can do here. On your mark, get set. All right, and with that push-off, now our players, oh my gosh, look at, look at Marcia. Look at the Hornet flying across this pool. She got a great push-off to and from, and that has given her great power to get across the pool. She is setting the pace here, folks. Oh my, that is very, very fast. <laughs> Let's go to Mo and get the results, Mo. Marcia clocked in at 15.5 seconds. Little smile, a little wet behind the ears, and up next, Rita. Very content, Rita. On your mark, get set. Ah, yeah. It's Rita, the warrior. And as you can see, she's digging through those rapids. Now, Rita, when she pushed off right there, did not get a strong push off, and she has very short strokes. She is not digging the paddle into the water. And she just did not get a good push off there. So she is hanging in that harness as the rapid jets are firing away at her. You see how much of a struggle indeed it is to dig through that pool. But she's got the determination to finish this. She is gonna dig across with the stretch right there. Not the touch yet. And the touch has been made, and then Mo gives us the official results. Mo. Rita clocked in at 41 seconds, which puts Marcia in first place, Arnold in second place, and Rita in third place. When it comes to Invisible Boat, Arnold the Terminator wanted to hold on to his lead that he had going into this. He set the pace with the stretch right there. Our other players had to rise to the challenge and look at the quick start that the Hornet got in this event. We are talking about a group of kid athletes from all around the world and in Global Guts we have expanded the challenge and they have risen to the occasion. The Hornet taking 300 beans back to her nest. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Mo. Well now we have a tie in first place, Mike. Both Arnold from the CIS and Mo Marcia from the USA have 700 points. And in third place with 400 points is Rita from Portugal. We are right into the thick of it, folks. We are going to be hitting the peaks in just a moment. But first, it's time to meet a Portuguese destroyer who's nicknamed the Warrior. Rita, the Warrior. Geha! Spill your guts. I'm Rita Almada Guerra from Lisbon, Portugal. My favorite sport is gymnastics because it gives me flexibility and freedom of movement. I have six sisters. It's fun, but at the same time, it's complicated. Although we may fight, we still love each other. Being here at Global Guts is an adventure. You want to feel like you're jumping across the Alps, going peak to peak. You're going to take that leap. Our players are going to be going sky high in this next event as they jump over some very radical ridges in our aerial mountainous assault. You're going to love this one. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo! Mike, our players must cross the mountain range, making sure to hop on each peak. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first, my friend Anuj, the Terminator. He's tied for first place, and he's jumping on top of those peaks. Getting across to the other end, and he's got to turn around. Now, our players got to think about balance, planning ahead, and of course, that lateral movement. They got to move side to side, not only forward, as the Terminator coming across. It's in a tie for first. He gets first peak, the peak, the peak. Let's find out his time for Mo. Mo! Arnold clocked in at 21.4 seconds. That includes a two second penalty for a missed peak. Okay, so he had a missed peak, but he did have very good balance. Hitting most of the peaks, pushing off to the next one, and keeping that forward motion, moving ahead, planning ahead. Looks like Marcia is ready. On your mark, get set. They call her the Hornet, and after our first event, she's got right back in it. Look at her long legs pushing across. 
She's got great motion all the way across. She's got a great time right now. Picking it up, back. Doesn't look like she's missed the peak yet. If she can keep it up, she'll come across. With a first place time, we'll have to find out if that is official, but fantastic speed. Let's go to Mo. Marcia clocked in at 16.6 seconds, no penalty. So, the Hornet hurrying along those heightened hilltops. The long leg leap, peep, peep, peep. And she is now propelled into first place. We will see what Rita can do. On your mark, get set. Rita of the Panther needs a fantastic finish. The time to beat, 16.6. And she's having a little trouble on that peak, getting knocked down. She goes into this event with 400 points. She's gonna have to really hustle it back. It doesn't look like a first place time is in reach, but second place time still up for grabs. And she came across, I think she got it. If that's official, she will have second place time. Let's go to Mo and find out the official, Mo. Rita clocked in at 21 seconds, including one two second penalty for a missed peak, which puts, let me see, Marcia in first place, Rita in second place, and Arnold in third place. All right, well, the Terminator started out setting the pace, going peak to peak. Good motion, getting the speed up there, locking in. But the pace was then taken over by the Hornet, putting on a 12-step program to victory. File this one under guts. Good work for her. And ladies and gentlemen, we had a little time yesterday to kick back, a little downtime during practice. We talked to the Hornet. Here's what she had to say. I understand, Marcia, that you do some impersonations of uh, Jim Carrey. Could, could you show me that? Righty then. In addition to her great athletic accomplishments, she can stick that tongue out with the best of them. One more time. All righty then. Yes. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Mo. Here it is, Mike. In the lead now is Marcia from the USA with 1,000 points. In second place, Arnold from the CIS with 800 points. In third place, Rita from Portugal with 600 points. All right. Well, maybe a little foggy in the valleys of peak to peak. But right now, Mo, we got a clear shot to the crack. It's coming up. You stick around. Welcome back to Global Gossip Bank. You want worldwide drama? I'll give it to you right here because we're at our last event and things are just getting heated up. The crag where the points have skyrocketed. 375 for third, 550 for second. A 725 for first. Let's go to Mo. Mo. After four events, Marcia from the USA is in the lead with 1,000 points. In second place is Arnold from the CIS with 800 points. In third place is Rita from Portugal with 600 points. And so the competition has been hot so far. It's about to get even hotter. But first, I'm going to tell you how they got there. Little Dodge it, throwing these dodgeballs against one another, playing catch, dodging them. That first event went to Arnold as we go into Mad Max. Arnold fighting through pothole pass, turning around, and then we go into a little invisible boat. This event, as Arnold and Rita were trying to make it through here, it also went to Marcia in red. And here she is. Peak to peak, look at her leap, look at the stretch and the pivot. She turned around, she wanted more. Purple came in with a nice finish, but first place went to Marcia. And so as I said, the competition, it's about to heat up because right now our players are about to take on the super aggro crag. First, it was the aggro crag, then it evolved into the mega crag, and now, ladies and gentlemen, is the super aggro crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more surprises and more obstacles than ever before. Players will begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks that are ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak. All the while, our players will be facing the sound and fury of a molten volcano that's ready to blow. You want some rules? Let's go to Mo. Mo! Players
players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one, at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. And so, folks, it will all come down to who has the courage to get to the top of the crag first. Now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this, our last piece of work. Let's go back to Mo and kick it off. Mo! On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, our players will begin the climb up Boulder Canyon. Those venomous vapors try to slow them down. Marcia is in the lead as the smoke and the snow and the nuclear flying crystals come down on top of our players. They're a little bit hesitant at the lower portion of the super aggro crack, but it looks right now that red and purple are in a tie right now. It's Rita and Marcia who will get to the top first. It looks like right now as the snow comes down, it could be red, red or purple. I don't know. It's going to be close to the top. In first place on the Super Agro Crag, Marcia from the USA. In second place, Rita from Portugal. In third place, Arnold from the CIS. On the Super Agro Crag, you need poise, tenacity. You need to know where you're going. You got to look up because you got a lot coming down upon you. And we had a tie at the ice wall. Red and purple, red and purple at the top of the peak. Who is it gonna be first? Just slipping in there. Marcia in red, our victor on the super aggro crag. Let's go to Mo and check out our final leaderboard standings. Mo. Here it is, Mike. In third place today, Rita from Portugal, 1,150 points. In second place, Arnold from the CIS, 1,175 points. Our winner today, Marcia from the USA, 1,725 points. And so, the medal ceremony, Rita from Portugal with 1,150 points, only 25 points off of a silver medal. She came all the way from Portugal. She got the bronze. The silver will go to Anus from the CIS, Team CIS, and the gold will go to our winner from North Carolina. That's Marcia, the Hornet. She will take home the gold global guts gold and a glowing piece of our radical rock. The extreme arena, the hometown crowd going crazy for our winner today. And now, do, all three do, do of our Global it? Guts oh, athletes do, 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 take do a well-deserved victory lap around the Extreme Arena. They got their country's flags wrapped around their bodies. Look at these guys. They are psyched. The Extreme Arena is getting ready to rock. They're already rocking. We're three great athletes who came to the Extreme Arena to compete, to play, to prove that they Indeed, you have it, but they got guts. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.